Karen De Quintana coming to you from the Beehive. On Monday, I showed you how to make a set of cute note cards using this Marry My Stamp set. And the set had three note cards in it with matching envelopes. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make a note card holder that houses all of these note cards. And we're gonna do that using the layering ovals framelits. And here is the note card holder. I've got this little piece of ribbon that's wrapped around here that can just slide off and that kind of holds it closed. And then we've got this little window that I cut using the layering oval framelits. And then when you open it up on the inside, you've got your little note cards and on, on the other side, you have your envelopes. The best part of this note card holder is that it's really easy to make. So let me show you how to make it. We are going to be using the Simply Scored scoring board and you're going to need a piece of wild wasabi cardstock. And I've cut this piece to eight and a half inches by six and a half inches. So we're gonna put the eight and a half inch side up at the top and you're going to score at the four and one eighths inch mark and the four and three eighths inch mark. Then you're going to turn it to the six and a half inch side and you're gonna score it at the five and a quarter inch mark and the five and three eighths inch mark. Then you can put your scoring tool away and here is the scored piece. Now down here at the bottom, we're just going to do a little bit of cutting. I'm going to take my paper snips and we're going to angle cut towards these center score lines. So here, let me show you how I did this. So I'm gonna angle cut this way, you can see like that and I'm going to angle cut this way. I start my cut about a quarter of an inch over and so this little piece is gonna come away and I'm just going to take my paper snip and cut it away from the big piece like that. You can see this a little bit closer if I hold it up to the camera like that. And then we're going to fold this along the score line. So let's fold this, the spine along the score line like that. And I'm gonna use my bone folder to smooth down the fold. And then I'm going to fold the other part of the spine over like that and use my bone folder again to smooth down the fold. Now we've got two score lines down here at the bottom and I'm just gonna fold one of them right now. I'm going to fold the bottom one up right now because I want this to be as low down as possible so we can fit our oval framelit in here to cut. So I'm just gonna bend the lower one up like that and we'll do the folding of the other one after we've done the cutting with our, our layering oval. So you can see that's what it looks like so far. Then you're going to need your Big Shot. And I've got my whole platform here, including the thin die adapter. Then I'm going to use my cutting plate. And then I'm going to take the piece that I just scored and folded and place it on here. We're gonna wanna cut the oval on this side because that's where the front will be. I've got my layering ovals framelits here and you'll notice you have both smooth framelits and scallop framelits. We're gonna use the smooth framelits today and I'm going to use the third largest framelit. I'm going to put this centered and just above this folded piece and that should create an oval window that is centered on the front. Then I'm just going to put my second cutting plate on top, being careful not to shift the oval down below, and then we're going to run this through the big shot. And here you go, you've got yourself a window on the front of your card holder. Now while this is nice and flat, let's flip this over to the front and I'm going to bring in my Wild Wasabi ink pad. There was one stamp that we didn't use yesterday and that was this little star stamp and I thought that would be fun to stamp on the front. So I'm just gonna ink this up in Wild Wasabi and I'm just going to stamp it a few times up at the top here just to give it a little bit more of something going on and then I'm just gonna stamp it a few times on the opposite end down here. Let's add a little bit more here, maybe a little bit more there. 
Perfect. Then we just need to fold up the second score line. See, we already folded this first one. Now I'm going to bring in the skinny, skinny fold. This one is only an eighth of an inch wide. So I'm just going to bring this up and fold along the score line using my bone folder. Let's do the same thing for the other side. Bring this up here like that and use your bone folder to smooth down that fold. Then remember the envelopes we stamped yesterday. I've got matching envelopes for each card and you can just tuck them into your holder like that. And here are the cards we did on Monday. And this one here with the mouse that's stamped vertical, we need to put that facing down and the, have it be the first one so that when we close up our note card holder, like that, he shows up on the front, like that. So you don't have to stamp anything else on the front. Then we're going to take a piece of real red stitch satin ribbon, and I'm going to need about 16 inches, maybe a little bit less. We're gonna cut it a little shorter. And I'm just going to wrap it around the front of the card holder, like that. And I'm just going to tie a knot. If you wanna use a longer piece, you can also tie a bow. I'm just going to go ahead and tie a little knot on the front and then you can just go ahead and trim off the ends like that. And there you go, you've got a perfect little note card holder and now you can give these cards as a gift. All the supplies you'll need to make this note card holder are available for purchase on my blog. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Bye for now. If you like this tutorial, be sure to check out all the free with purchase tutorials available on my blog. The Rolos Pumpkin Wreath and Ornament tutorial is just one of the exclusive tutorials that you can choose free with a minimum purchase in my Stampin' Up! store.